such as the stage directors and um, choreographers. Okay. Um, Choreographers Society. You always hear of colleges utilizing the talent of a guest speaker. Well, how many colleges do you know of that utilize the purity and innocence of a child guest speaker? Many students rejected the methods of, uh, what is this name? Stanislavski. God, ha have you ever read a book in your life? Mr. Rimmer, she's just a child. Yeah, okay, how long is she gonna keep leaning on that crutch? Sorry, just keep on reading. Where did you get her from? No, I found her at a local school down the street. What? You kidnapped a child? No, I didn't kidnap her. She consensually got in my car when I asked her to. Are you aware of how illegal this is? Define illegal. <sighs> Mr. Rimmer, I never thought you'd f*** up this badly. Please don't f Swear in front of the child. You kidnapped her. Shut the f up, Oliver. You c. This can't be good. Our college is putting on its first theatrical production with six students. That includes the actors, the stage managers, the tech crew, and the costumers. No, 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 no! Well, what do you want me to do? Fat ass! We open in five days and we're not off book yet. So we've decided on a 24-hour dress rehearsal to iron out the last minute kinks. Which is basically Mr. Rimmer's excuse for a slumber party. Hey. Linda, I wanted to talk. Oh, sh. You, what happened to your face? I'm her mother, you jackhole. Okay, well, this is a student only event, so you're gonna have to leave. My daughter's only 16 years old. You think I'm gonna let her stay here with a bunch of college kids, Mr. Rimshot? She's only 16? You know, I read in a magazine that one out of every three people wets the bed in an unfamiliar environment. Okay, well, I don't wet the bed. <laughs> well, neither do I. What? It's hereditary. Wow. And then there were six. <laughs> I just want to say that with only two weeks left of school, we have come a long way as a class. I don't care if you're a flabby old bastard or if you have emotional instability. I don't even care if you have Down syndrome. The fact of the matter is that I am proud of each and every one of you. I have a question. Uh-huh. You are the most ridiculous person I have ever met. Well, isn't that the pot calling the kettle black? What do you mean, black? Or it could be white or green. It doesn't have to be a kettle, per se. It could be a teapot. Why don't we all just go to sleep? Yeah, why don't we do that? There is no such thing as a good sleepover without a proper prankster. And who better than the old prankster himself? Theater kids, prepare to get your socks scared off. <laughs> And damn it. Marlena? Yeah? You awake? Marlena? It's freezing in here. Yeah, I know. You should come to me. For work. Okay. Oh, you're so cold. Look at you. Your nipples are rock hard. You're not the only one. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Alex, it's late. What are you doing here? Yeah, Mr. Shaft, please. I, I was working late and I got locked out of campus and I have nowhere to sleep tonight and I was wondering if I could please just... The girls' locker room has a broken lock. It's been broken for two months now. Why don't you go sleep there? Mr. Shaft, please don't do this to me. It's freezing outside and you're the only one I know who lives within walking distance of the school. How and... do you know where I live? How do you know about the girls' locker room? Fair enough. Come in. No, I'm not attracted to Oliver. We're just friends. <laughs> not every pair of good-looking people need to be in a relationship. <sighs> oh, hold on. If we do this, I want to make sure you're in this for keeps. I'm not just some cheap lay. Of course I'm in this for keeps. <laughs> mm. Obviously, this girl has never heard of a one-night stand. <laughs> Oh my god, Mr. Shaft, this house is amazing. Are, are you are you married? No. Do you have any kids? No. Well, 
If I were you, I'd be running around this mansion butt naked 24-7. I put some blankets in the guest room. You can find it. Yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, P.S. How do you know this guy? Where did you get this? Your bedroom. His name is Roger, Roger Joseph, Joseph Lee. Lee. Hello, like the greatest Broadway performer of all time. I mean, it's a shame he had to die in that tragic backstage mishap. Of, you know, he's the reason I fear stage lights falling on my head. I never trust techies. He was an amazing performer, wasn't he? Yeah, I, I thought you didn't like theater. I don't. Well, well then why are Alex, you... Alex, I think it's time for bed. Yeah, my daughter giggles in her sleep. You got a problem with that? Uh, no. It's okay. I cry in my sleep. Ugh, that's not all you do. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I figured it out. Alex, what are you doing here? Roger Joseph Lee is your son, isn't he? I don't follow. Oh my God, he is. Oh God, oh my God, that explains so much. Oh my, that, that, that explains why you hate theater. Theater? Theater. One of the greatest sports ever invented by man. He told me he'd come home after the summer. I told him it was a damn stupid sport. You invest a lifetime in a child, investing every cent and moment into their future. And for what? He never came home after the summer. Mr. Shaft, your son died doing a professional Broadway show. He died doing something that thousands of pe people like me try their whole lives to get into. He died doing something that he loved. And I know that if I were to die during the production of this play, well, I'd, I'd be fine with that. Because there's a certain magic about theater and some people get it and some people don't. I'm very proud of you for letting our college put on its first play. And I'm sure your son would be too. <clears throat> Life is much like that of an opening night performance. Uh, there are those who don't like your work, and there are those who like your work a bit too much. Uh, but in the end, we all just kind of need to learn to let go and go on with the show. I'm very nervous, <laughs> excited very excited about this Friday's performance. And you guys should be too, because it's going to rock your socks off. So, good night. <laughs> and damn it. Mason, are you awake? We should cuddle together for warmth. Hola, hombre. I'm not Mason. <laughs> <laughs>